Vaping in no time has gone from trend to target. Both state and federal leaders now calling for broad restrictions while colleges and other institutions are banning them on their property. All in response to recent reports of illnesses linked to vaping or at least certain types of vaping. Christian Garzon joining us live now from Dewey Avenue to explain what's going on here, Christian. Yeah, vape shops are starting to feel that burn as chatter is heated up, certainly today with President Trump talking about banning certain vaping flavors. All of that coming from health studies that are pointing to a lot of health problems caused by vaping, although people can't exactly pinpoint what within vaping is causing these issues. Now, you know, a lot of places, they ban smoking and vaping altogether. You just can't do it. And certain smoke shops, like the one here in Dewey Ave, is concerned that trend might creep into their business. President Donald Trump announced a proposal to ban thousands of flavors used in e-cigarettes. This after U.S. health officials identified about 450 possible illnesses in 33 states and as many as five deaths related to vaping. It would be a huge shame and it would hurt local economy, definitely. Noah Shireman is the manager of the Dewey Ave Smoke Shop. He points out health officials haven't found a definitive cause of those illnesses and deaths. What they expect is that it's the THC cartridges. Workplaces, hospitals, and schools are already on board with having completely smoke-free campuses. St. John Fisher just announced that in January, they will be completely tobacco and vape-free. Removing that from our campus completely is going to be a real positive move. Dr. Christine Burney says the policy is not about punishment, rather education. We want people to understand that there really are negative effects of smoking, vaping, tobacco, chewing, any of that. This can be just as harmful as smoking and some of the other tobacco products. Back on Dewey Ave, Shireman says companies and campuses banning it fine. But he says any kind of a larger total ban might actually have consequences. But outright banning, it's just going to put it back into the black market, basically. Now, Governor Cuomo says people should stop vaping altogether, period. And New York's health commissioner said in a statement last week that people should stop vaping until the definitive, definitive cause, rather, of all this illness can be figured out altogether. Adam Marine, right back to you. All right, Christian, thank you. St. John Fisher College's smoke-free policy goes into effect January 1st.